You're so weird. All right, the, we are looking at the yellow skater population. At shake zero, how many did we have? Zero. Or one? One. At shake one, how many did we have? Two. At shake two, we had? Three. Four. Four. Eight. At shake three, we had? Eight. At shake four, we had? Sixteen. Thirty-two. And thirty-two. Sixty-four. You guys noticed that what happened with this um, population? It, 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 it doubled. It, 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 it was a factor of what? Uh, two. 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 All right, so that factor we looked at yesterday's assignment, and that factor is what helped us to write it in exponential notation. So, two to what power gives us one? Zero. 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 Two to what power gives us two? One. One. Or one. one. Two to what power gives us four? Two. Two to what power gives us eight? Three. Three. Two to what power gives us 16? Four. And two to the? Five. Gives us 32. Now, we're looking at it two different ways, exponentially and expanded. We've looked at expanded notation. So, how many twos when it's two to the first? Two. One. One. How many twos? Two to the second. Two. How many twos when it's two to the Three. third? Three. How many twos when it's two to the fourth? How many twos when it's two to the fourth? Four. Four. And how many twos when it's two to the fifth? Five. When you graph this, what did you put on the x-axis? Shakes. Shakes. And what did you put on the y population? Skeeters. Number one asks us to write the equation that relates the shake number to the total population after that shake. So we're going to have a y equals something like we did in the previous couple of units. Okay. When you're looking at the exponential notation, what always stays the same? The number. The number. Very good. Which the number? The, the Which number, number stays the factor that it multiplies by? The factor that it multiplies by. That's what we have. So what's the factor in this problem? Two. Y equals two times two X times Y. <laughs> y equals, what always changed in exponential notation? How y equals two the exponent. The exponent. So that's where we put the exponent. Uh, y equals 2 to the x. We get our total population from the y. This is the factor that it's growing by. And this is what's changing is the shape number. Okay? Shape number changed each time here, which gives us a different population. Um, is the equation, you just wrote a function. Yes. Yeah. For every x, do you have one line? Yeah. Yes. Does it pass the vertical line test? Yes. yes. Okay. Oh. You guess so? I'm not graphing to figure it out. Didn't you already graph <laughs> it once? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we did. Yes. Yeah, How could you predict the total population of Skeeters for shape numbers greater than five? Follow the pattern. We can follow the pattern. You can use the equation. Use the equation and do what? Do y equals two to the power of six times eight nine. Okay. So we could substitute the shape number for x. So let's do that. Predict the total population of yellow skeeters for shake 10. So that would be 2 to the 10th power. Yes, it would. Which gives us? 2 to the 10th power. I don't know. I said 10,024 is a guess. 102. Predict the total population of yellow skeeters for shake 25. So that would be what? 2 to the 25th. Which gives us? Oh, 
Related to this equation. Right. So it states that in the equation, doesn't it? Okay. So the factor is in the equation. What is the growth rate for the population of skeeters? Do we know right off the top of our heads what the growth rate is? Can we find the growth rate? Yes. Okay. How do we find growth rate? Old or new minus old over old. Okay. So looking at our skeeter population, what is our newest population? 32. 32. 32 minus 1. We're going to compare consecutive years. 32 minus 16 divided by? 16 equals 100%. Equals for half. Oh, just kidding. 100. Equals 1. That's your decimal, which is? 100%. Right. Number 10 asks, how does this growth rate relate to the equation that you wrote? 2 times 50 equals 100. Okay. So what do you notice mathematically? What's the relationship between 2 and 1? It's half. So it's half. Half. Almost right. What else is it? <laughs> How many more is it? Multiplied by two. More than one. It's multiplied by two. It's one more. Oh, yeah. And this is what's really important. And we'll see this later on in this unit. The factor, and what's our factor in this problem? Two. 
the factor is one more than the growth rate. So we'll not be true growth rate, rate you figure out the factor. A decimal, yes. So tomorrow we're going to look at it a little bit more, but we are going to be able to look at an equation, we'll spot the factor, and then we can find the growth rate. Okay? Right. So the factor is one more than the growth rate as a decimal. That's what's really important because look at this is one more than this, but it's a hundred percent. Okay. Consider a skater whose population can be modeled by the equation y equals. This should be y equals four to the x, not four times x. Where y represents the total population after a shake and x represents the shake number. Use this equation to predict the population after eight shakes. So how do I find that? Four 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 eight eight eight. Yes, very good. It equals 65,536. No, that's wrong. It's correct. No, it's not. All right, now thinking about what we've just discussed. It doubled. Okay. It quadruple. Why would it quadruple? Because the factor is full. Factor is? Four. So the population after each shake is increasing by a factor of four. Yeah. Oh, I thought it meant like two. So even from just the two, it would still quadruple. On this one, we're looking at this one right here. Oh. This equation right here has a factor of four. So it's going to increase by a factor of four on this one. Oh. This one up here has a factor of two. Oh, I thought you were okay. comparing the factor to. No, completely different equation. 